Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydro Man. Guys, it's official, there is finally a new best hydrogen machine in the world. It is still a Japanese machine. It is actually literally the number one machine in the world. And without further ado, I'm just going to give you guys a quick review of it. It is the holy hydrogen machine called the Lourdes Hydrofix Premium Edition from the official company, Holy Hydrogen. So let me just go ahead and uh, share with you guys some of the details about it and why it is literally the best in the world. So here's my review on this machine. So what I really like, first of all, is it is literally the most advanced non-electrolyzed hydrogen technology, separate chamber, basically electrolysis system in the world. Okay, it uses the highest grade membrane in existence and literally nobody, so there is, no matter how much people make claims out there, and I will say, I'm not gonna give you any medical advice today, I'm not making any medical claims, but what I am telling you is that this machine uses technology that literally nobody has. There's a, you have to be cautious out there. A lot of people say a lot of things that I have discovered in the world of hydrogen that are just not true. So this one has the highest membrane in uh, grade in existence. It is literally a Japanese membrane. Nobody uses it in any hydrogen machine. They call it something like MFPM. So it's like multi-layer fibriform polymer membrane. It's a particular type of film technology. So not only is it the purest one that I've ever seen because I started seeing lab tests on membranes for like SPE, PEM. So I don't like machines that use lye or sodium hydroxide, right? So I don't like those, which are Brown's gas machines. I don't like those because they literally don't even follow the science. The science is behind molecular hydrogen. They don't make molecular hydrogen. Um, and, and they use chemicals and I don't like that. Now these membranes, when I saw the lab reports on them, not a huge fan after I saw what was in them because they have basically what's called a forever chemical or PFAS. That's what I've seen as far as the lab tests that I've seen. I'm gonna to try to get more for you guys. This one was lab tested, no PFAS, the cleanest membrane I've ever seen. So on top of it being better in every way, it's cleaner. And that's what, it's something that I'm, that's been very important to me, just like uh, getting a really proper water filter. So that's the first important part. And again, it doesn't electrolyze the water. Um, basically the computer, two chambers and the computer regulating the electricity so precisely that it doesn't have any electrical current going through the water that you're gonna be drinking like a Kangen or like the little hydrogen bottles that exist out there that directly electrolyze the water, which creates impurities. That's the whole reason that I don't like to use them. Hence the reason this is the best machine in the world because it's doing it correctly. So beyond that, it also uses something called the Nemka effect. So it's like non-Faradaic electrochemical modification of catalytic activity. So again, that's a really big deal, but it's also doing like a double vortex of hydrogen technology while inducing this natural uh, vibration of hydrogen, which I mean, hydrogen to me is literally the source of all life. The stars are made of hydrogen. Uh, it's probably the very first thing ever created. Look at the very first thing on our periodic table. It's absolutely incredible. So that's the first thing. Um, I already mentioned that it's non-electrolyzed water, which the old ones did the same thing. So in that regard, it's it was still literally the best in the world, even the old model, but this one definitely surpasses it. And remember, this is pure hydrogen. So pure hydrogen does not affect the pH of the water. If something affects the pH of the water, you're not making pure hydrogen because pure molecular hydrogen is actually pH neutral. Now, the way that it's producing the hydrogen also appears to be way more stable in the water lasts the longest. That's another part of, of what makes it really important. But the biggest thing for me is that it's non-toxic also. Super clean, it doesn't use stainless steel, it doesn't use plated metals. The metal technology is higher than anything I've ever seen. The membrane is the cleanest and the highest technology that I've ever seen. And again, not using chemicals, everything in this cartridge actually that it utilizes, not only does it not even touch the water you're drinking on top of it, it's food grade. So there's a reason that top actual hydrogen specialists, which are literally practicing physicians. One of the top ones, this guy is literally, uh, his name's Dr. Adachi, he's a neurosurgeon in Japan. And this is the, the only machine, apparently, that he will use for himself and the only one that he recommends for his patients, not because of any financial gain, but because it is the best. And it's extremely safe when you're making high quality medical grade hydrogen. And what I've seen throughout the years is I don't think the majority of every machine out there is actually making medical grade hydrogen, meaning really clean. So just so you understand that. There's literally like oxygen tanks when you go, for example, to a hospital. If you go to a welding center, they have oxygen tanks too. What's the difference between an oxygen tank that's in a welding center and a hospital? Well, the hospital is medical grade. Well, what does that mean? It means of extremely high purity. I cannot emphasize that enough. Purity is medical grade. That's super, super important. 
Um, your average little Brown's gas device for a lot of these little hydrogen, like the pills or the little bottles, you're not going to be making medical grade hydrogen, in my opinion. Okay, so obviously it avoids a direct electrolysis, which is what inferior machines do. Somebody was actually asking about the Kangen, and that's what they do, because when you directly electro, uh, electrolyze the water, it's going to create basically other impurities. So let's just leave it at that, because I'm going to go to the next part, which is talking a little bit more about the membrane. It is super super amazing i'm going to be actually showing you laboratory footage of when it was tested because it's just so unbelievable this new machine is literally doing the impossible it's creating something now termed sticky hydrogen nobody in the world is doing this something that basically nobody thought was actually possible and i'll be making more videos about that in fact comment below if you want to know more about the sticky hydrogen and i'll, I'll do my best to get that footage so the membrane that it's using, I believe it's called MFPN. So it's a multi-layer membrane and it's better than the majority of what everybody uses as far as SPEPEM technology. There's different levels and grades of the membranes. And my understanding is that basically everybody's using the DuPont membranes. This one is a Japanese made only for this device. And it's the first and only machine in the world that is actually using this technology. And not only for the purity, but the membrane actually has three layers. So it's a fiber containing membrane that is sandwiched between two other membranes, whereas something like the DuPont or basically what everybody else is using, membrane is not fibrous. So this is beyond SPEPEM technology, like way beyond it. This is not like the DuPont membranes just use one layer. So this is a multi-layer system with specific types of fibers in this membrane so that it creates some type of like the vibration of the hydrogen and induces this natural vortex like our DNA somehow the way that they they I think my understanding is that they stumbled upon it by accident and it ended up being so amazing and I believe now it's patented and so you're actually vortexing and structuring the actual hydrogen like your DNA nothing else does that in the world and of course they're using expanded metal technology something that is that was the first in this device and still to date nobody uses that technology because it's just too expensive that you know they wanted to do the best with this device so that's what they're doing and it is definitely the best and it helps so much with these nano bubbles which we'll get into also so you're combining the expanded metal technology with the vive technology with this new type of uh, membrane and on top of it all it's basically making what i guess we can call sticky hydrogen or hyper micro nano bubbles and to make it even better, I mean, there, there is a reason this is the best machine in the world now. The new membrane is even more durable. So this machine was already the most reliable hydrogen machine I've ever seen out there because I learned the hard way by buying many hydrogen machines that they tend to have reliability issues. That's even why some companies are like, oh, I'll give you a lifetime warranty because they know that the machines are going to break and, you know, they obviously have to keep their customers, quote unquote, happy. These are so reliable I've had such good luck with it. And by talking to the company, I've learned that they've gone out of their way to make it like the Toyota of hydrogen machines. And so that's one really good part. But now with this new membrane, apparently the life of it is even longer. And they don't even know, literally, they don't even know how long it'll last because it could literally last so long that it, it almost doesn't even, it's not even going to be a question anymore that should be asked, which is a really good thing because what I've discovered is in long-term usage of hydrogen, it can get real expensive when you're buying things like pills, which I personally wouldn't even use after seeing the lab reports of what's in them. That's why I don't use them. Um, but if, if you have devices that keep breaking or doesn't make the hydrogen as pure, all this stuff, this actually ends up being the cheapest in the long term if you're going to be a hydrogen person like me that wants to use it all the time. So extremely clean, high grade, but even longer lasting, better nano bubbles. And on this new model, they not only have the expanded metal, but now they, they have a new technique where, that they use on the metal to make it even a smoother surface on the metal. Kind of like when they're developing these samurai swords back in the day. They just keep perfecting their craft with this machine. This is why I love this company so much that they just continue to improve and obviously bring us awesome products like these. And so this much smoother surface, much better technology allows even down to the way the electrical current goes through the metal and spreads across the larger membrane, also the surface area to create even better nano bubbles, which you're gonna see in a lab test that I'm gonna try to release in the near future of what exactly it's doing. Cause it's hard for you to really see it until you like literally see it on a lab test. But I can just tell you that the quality of hydrogen is not only so high, it is by far, in my opinion, the best, highest quality hydrogen ever made to date. Okay, so we already talked about the SPPEM technology, which this is literally, you know, 
way, way beyond that, basically. Um, they also have something called the Nemka effect, so non-ferritic electrochemical modification of catalytic activity. So the Japanese basically the Japanese lead the world in renewable energy research and technology. This thing is going just way beyond just conventional running electrical current and making hydrogen. Okay, a lot of people don't seem to understand that, so I'll just leave it at that in regards to that. And then of course, like I mentioned also before, the Vive technology, which is vortex induced vibration engineering. Um, and also working in collaboration with not only the expanded metal, but now this new technique. And I don't know what they call it, but basically when they really make that, that metal super, super smooth, as compared to a lot of the Chinese devices, you'll see where they just have like a piece of metal that looks like a hole, and they literally just punch holes into it. Um, definitely inferior, and uh, yeah, it's cheap. And it's one of the reasons that, I, and they use plated metal, which I'm not a fan of at all. And the quality of metal, everybody will try to tell you that they're using the highest grade metal, but every, all the research I've done, is just unfortunately not true in my opinion, based on every, all the research that I've done. So, okay guys, well, that's basically my, my review of the device. I can, I can, if you want to know more how to use it, comment below. I have other videos on how to set it up and how to use it if you like. I literally just set this up. You can see it's brand new because even the bubbles are still a little big and it's just getting started. The good news is that you don't have to break it in anymore as far as the membrane. You don't have to break in the membrane anymore because the old one you used to have to soak it in order to, to, to break it in, but this new one, again, the technology is so far superior, like don't even have to break it anymore. You can just start running it right away and it basically will be making full hydrogen literally just within a few uses. So I literally just started this. So it's, it's brand new right out of the box right now. I'm just so excited. So basically the purity to me, what's important when it comes to hydrogen is the purity. This is the highest purity that it makes both the water with the best nano bubbles and full saturation and it does the hydrogen gas inhalation, but extremely, extremely clean. People always ask also about the hydrogen gas inhalation. They think that it's supposed to be like air blowing up in your nose. It's not, it's just gravity, the, the hydrogen flows. And they do have lab tested. I guess I could show you guys if you wanted to see this. They literally, because no company in the world does this. They're the only company in the world that lab tests and certifies every single machine they build. Which is why the apparently the, like the doctors in Japan and true specialists know that this is the best. Because if it's lab tested, you know that you're getting the right amount of hydrogen. Because you're not going to be able to test this machine on your own. People who think you can test with like blue drops or ORP meters, literally you're kind of showcasing their ignorance. You, that's not the correct way to measure hydrogen. And some people even try to do bubble tests where they stick the, the tube into water and they think that those bubble tests are accurate. They are not accurate. You don't even know what those bubbles are made of. I mean, just look at a fish tank. Just because there's bubbles doesn't mean they're automatically hydrogen bubbles. But this is really neat. This is actually the certificate, not only of authenticity, but it actually is the one that shows the lab test that was done. What kind of equipment they're using, the down to the serial number, down to the results, even the date when it was done. So this machine was literally lab tested. And all of them are. And the reason no company does that is, again, it's just too expensive. I think most companies are going for quote-unquote profit, which I understand. You have to have a profit in business. But they try to do the cheapest route where the reason I like not only this company, but their equipment is because they don't do that. They go to do the best. They have the best metal. Yeah, it's going to be expensive, but they're getting the best. They're getting the best membrane, best design because there's so many different ways to make hydrogen, which their design was actually the most difficult way of making hydrogen, but it was the best. And then, of course, they're lab testing, certifying, full saturation. I mean, the whole thing, even down to their cannula, which I think it's in the box. Um... Even down to the cannula, because apparently they discovered through all their lab testing, which nobody ever realized, that you actually will lose hydrogen gas through the cannula. So they had to get Yamaha to make a special material that actually allows the hydrogen to not escape through the cannula so that you can get the proper amount when they measure it at the nose. Most companies do not measure at the nose. They just tell you what their best guess is as far as the production of their machine. So there's just so much to learn, but this is a truly... Fully engineered in Japan, hand-built, lab-tested, certified. Like, there is no other machine that does all this. And it is the number one machine in Japan for a reason. So, hopefully you guys, you know, found this helpful. As a lot of people have been asking for this video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to support the channel and to help the algorithm. And to let me know that you're grateful for all this information that I bring you guys. And that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.